Hello, this is Kenneth Wong, contributing editor for Desktop Engineering Magazine. A new contender in 3D mechanical design software, MCAT Package, is coming from overseas, from the land of the dragons and ancient sages. I mean China. ZW Soft, which came into the market with its AutoCAD lookalike ZW CAD, has just released ZW 3D, a 2D 3D CAD program. Now, if you're familiar with VX CAD CAM, ZW3D might look like an old friend in a new outfit. After all, ZW3D is the result of ZWSoft's acquisition of VX CAD CAM. Now let's have a look at ZW3D 2011, which is now in beta code. It's got all the usual tools like 2D profile sketching, shape creation from sketches, detailing, and so on. You can also go beyond primitive shapes with revolve, sweep, and other commands, or use surface as cutting planes to trim shapes. Perhaps what's more important to note is that ZW3D comes with a collection of robust mold and die features. I'm going to show you the workflow using a simple shell part. So here is my shell's part, and it's ready to go. So the first thing I want to do is to create a parting lines. I'm going to use the command under mold and die to specify the direction of the mold block separation, the way in which it's going to be pulled apart, specify the surfaces I need to produce. In this case, it's all the surfaces. Then have the software derive the parting lines automatically for me. Now I think I'm ready to create my parting surface. But before I do that, I need to sketch the outer border of my cutting plane. So I'm going to simply draw a rectangle sketch around my shell part. Then I go to Parting Phase dialog box under the Mole and Die tab. Pick the sketch to be my envelope's outer border. Pick the previously defined cutting lines to be the inner border. And once again, include all the surfaces. Now I've got essentially my cutting plane and my parting faces, but my parting faces happens to be a series of surfaces, so I need to sew them or stitch them together into a single item. To do that, I use the heel tap and the sew command. By now I'm ready to create my mold blocks. Just a simple box shaped block, so I extrude my cutting planes out of border into a block. Next, I use the divide shape command to separate the block into the top part and the bottom part to create my core and cavity blocks. There is a rendering app that comes with the program, which in my view could use some improvement. 
perhaps preloaded shaders, environments, textures, and a better user interface would be very helpful. To compete against established players like SolidWorks, Solid Edge, or Inventor, ZWCAT would need a way to let users create impressive images. CW3D 2011, I find, is quite comprehensive in its 3D modeling and 2D tools. Additional surface creation, sheet metal tools, and mold and die operations give you added values as well. Moving around feature and faces in this software is incredibly easy too. You'll find that all you have to do is select it as a feature or a face and drag it to its new position. To become proficient in it, you'd need to invest some time and effort learning it. You won't, for instance, be able to pick it up as quickly as, say, Space Claim, Inventor Fusion, Solid Edge with Synchronous Technology, or any of those new crop of drag editing programs that rely mostly on push-pull actions to complete your modeling. To use CW3D, you'll still need to become familiar with its tab setups, menus, the required input parameters, the sequence of operations, and so on. I really think that upcoming releases, perhaps with a simpler user interface and improved real-time rendering, you can expect ZW3D to rightfully belong on the short list of many people's preferred CAD program. Till next time, this is Kenneth Wong for Desktop Engineering Magazine, wishing that the only core and cavity he'll ever face is in a CAD program and not in a dentist chair.